So what we have here today is a lot of equipment from Dynamic Perception. They're probably best known for a lot of their time-lapse gear. So this is one here. This is a motorized slider, the Slider One Plus. Over here we have the Sapphire Pro motorized pan and tilt head. We also have the NMX controller, which can be programmed through your iPhone. So you can set up full three axis motion control. A very cool app, takes all the guesswork out of what you need to set. It calculates everything from how many pictures it will take, depending on how long you want your video to be and how many frames per second your video is gonna end up. So a uh, very simple application. Now there's also some optional equipment here. We have a slider motor, a high speed slider motor. If you guys need to run longer with your motion time-lapse, there's also a 23,000 milliamp hour battery. And then we've got a bunch of different uh, cables here. Canon, Sony, Nikon, and the NMX controller can basically fire your camera as it's doing time-lapse. This slider here uses lightweight carbon rails these are these are super lightweight now you can break this slider down you could take these two rails off here so this is probably as small as you can get this slider but you screw on these rails and then you've got a tripod mount here at the end and if you want to go longer you can continue to thread more and more rails together and then they come with a tripod support at the end so as you have more rails you also have more tripod supports clamped in the middle so you can extend this as long as you want so anyways we're gonna get set up on like just the basics here uh, a quick look at the slider one plus now before i get into this i'll just show you the bag get this out of the way there is a bag it travels in here if you need it again you could break this down a little bit smaller one of the uh, cool features is a tilt on the pan mount here or the uh, head mount you just loosen this up and then you can tilt this. So if you're doing a slide kind of at an angle, you can actually level the horizon on your head here. That platform kind of tilts. Also an optional thing that we have on the slider that you see is these bipod legs. Now they just screw on with one little thumb screw. They're keyed in so they don't spin off. Each leg can be adjusted independently. And this allows us to use it on the ground, on a table, but if you're just planning on using your slider on like a tripod or two stands, you don't need to have the bipod legs. But the bipod legs lets you use it on the floor or on a table. So we're going to get the NMX controller and stuff set up. If you're going to bring this out to the field, really all you need is what's in this bag here and the slider plus pro. And this together is going to give you full three axis motion control and a programmable time lapse through the iPhone app. So it syncs via Bluetooth. So to get this set up here, what we're gonna start out with is, it's not too bad to set up either. I've done it once before. This uh, tray here mounts to the side of the slider and this will hold your NMX controller as well as the battery. And that just goes on just like this. Pretty quick. Inside of this bag here, we've got the battery. Now again, if you want a higher capacity battery, they do offer one. Um, and it's just standard 12 volt out, so you could probably come up with other battery solutions if you have it. This is the NMX controller, controls the pan, tilt, and slide. So let's plug this power on over here. And we just mount it right there. Now, over here we have the Sapphire Pro head. Super compact, motorized pan and tilt head. I think the reason why they're able to get it more compact is this is not um, a head that you need to balance your camera. So it doesn't have the large frame. Your camera is going to stick out. It's going to hang off to the side. But this is geared down. So the motor is actually coming up right here. And so the imbalance that you're going to have on a camera is not really stressing out the motor with other pan tilt heads if you don't balance it correctly you're going to put strain on the motor but they designed this so that it's actually geared and that's where you're mounting it so um, that's how they're able to get it more compact this is a arca swiss and so we just mount it onto the platform here now to get the controller plugged into the pan tilt head we've got these extension cables so we're just going to plug in the pan, the tilt, and the slide according to the motors that we have. Um, actually, we're missing the slide motor, right? So let's throw on this, uh, we'll try the high speed one. Drop that in, just like that. All right, so now we will get these little cables, extension cables plugged in. 
All right, we got all of our motors hooked up to our NMX controller. And really that's most of it. This bracket right here is for your camera. We'll slide this in here. Not too bad, actually pretty fast to set up. Now we're going to turn this on. We double, pre double click the power on the battery. I don't know if you can hear that. We launch the app and then the app connects via Bluetooth, automatically syncs up. From here, we're able to control our slide. We can control our tilt. And we can control our pan. Okay, so we have full control over our motors. Now we're going to use the iPhone app to set up a start point and set an end point. Now we can pan and tilt and slide and set that A point. And then our B point, we can also pan, tilt, and slide to a whole different position. And then once you hit go, it'll automatically tween from that start point to the end point. It'll tween all of the motion nice and smooth. And the app is kind of a little wizard, so it takes you step by step on how to set up your um, movement. And then you can control everything from exposure time to frame rate of your final video, uh, how long you want your time lapse to be, and then it calculates how many frames or how many pictures it's gonna take. So it does everything for you. Really simple app to use. All right, so we're all set up. We've got full control over our pan, tilt, and our slide. The app is very easy to use, so let's just set this up and um, time-lapse something. Okay, so we're gonna build some Legos, and I wanna time-lapse from this end to the other end, and I want the camera to track the middle of the table here. So to do that, we're going to set our start point. Now I have the slider already set on this side. Now I'm gonna set my pan and my tilt. So if I pan the head, and I can set my tilt. All right, so I think this is a good starting point for me. So what I'm gonna do on the app here is I'm gonna hit the start button and then I'm gonna say set the start position. Now we're gonna move the slider to the other end and set our final end point. And then when we continue with the wizard, it'll pretty much do everything on its own after that. So we move the slider to the other end, but we need to set our pan and our tilt so that we keep our the center of the table in frame the whole time it's moving. So I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna hit the end and set end. At this point, we're just gonna hit next. And we could do either time-lapse or video continuous. We're going to do a time-lapse here. So we could set how long our duration is gonna be and it will calculate how many frames it's going to take Right now we're set to a video frame rate of 24 frames a second. So my interval right now is set to two seconds. I could probably increase this to maybe like three seconds. And then we can see our number of frames will change and our video length will change. So I'm just gonna hit next. And this is the keyframe control where you can control how fast it ramps in or out of the pan, tilt, and the slide. And there's some other options here on the type of curves you wanna use, but we're just gonna leave it at that, hit next. And then we're going to click send the motors to the start position. So it's going to automatically move the slider back to our start position. Now it's ready for time-lapse. So here we could hit start program. Now once we start the program, we don't need to be connected via Bluetooth. We can disconnect from the app and the system will continue to run and complete the time lapse.
All right, so that is a brief demo of some of the products sent over by Dynamic Perceptions. We've got the Stage 1 Plus carbon slider here. You can break this down again, half the size of what you see here. We have the NMX controller, which could be programmed through an iOS app on your iPhone. We also have the Sapphire Pro motorized pan tilt head here. Now you notice I'm holding it. It's Arca Swiss. You can mount this to a tripod and you can do motion control pan tilt time lapse without the slider. So if you don't want to bring this, you just want some movement with your camera, you just mount this to a tripod and you can have two axis motion control time lapse right here. So very cool stuff. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll also have a link below this video and also on the blog cheesycam.com.